Okay, face guy here. What's going on, into? Welcome back to the channel. And today we have made some new friends in Ella Make who sent out their keyless fingerprint smart door lock for review for you guys. And I'm super excited for this because I have a lot of things in my home as far as my home theater goes, a lot of electronics, and this adds another sense of security to my electronics and my whole home. This is really cool for home theater because a lot of you guys have dedicated rooms or a basement, and you can lock this away if you like to or have a keypad for and maybe lock it away when you have your guests over or maybe when you leave town for the week. So this is going to be really cool for a lot of different reasons. Obviously, one being a sense of security for your whole home if you like to. Now, I do want to apologize ahead of time because I am sick. I'm fighting off what I think is the flu, and so I am not feeling well. So my voice may be a little bit different to you guys. I may be coughing every now and then, so I apologize for that. But let's go ahead and unbox this and see what we get inside. So inside the box you get a few different goodies to help you set up your door lock and what you get first is your owner's manual, user's manual to get you started. You do have some gloves I didn't expect to see but if you want to keep that fingerprint scanner looking nice, keep that screen looking good, then you can use your, your gloves to keep your fingerprints off of everything. You do have some screws for your mounting bracket and then you have Two keys, you can open this via a key of course, and then there's a USB Type-C charger for that screen and fingerprint, so you will have to charge this ever so often. We'll have to see how long that battery lasts, because like I said, this is a fingerprint scanner, and it has an LCD screen on the front, so it does need power somehow. So one thing that I noticed kind of right off the bat is the quality of this, this door handle. It feels really good with that textured pattern. If you guys can pick that up on the camera, but it is solid, like this is a really nice metal and it feels solid, just turning it feels really, really good. So this will last you quite a while. And then there's that screen there that's gonna give you the keypad so you can press um, a number pad if you wanna get into the house with code. And there's your fingerprint scanner on the top so you can just you know, place a finger. And the way that you get this set up is gonna be via an app that we're gonna download here in just a second. They have an app to communicate with your door handle so you can lock and unlock your home with your phone if you'd like to. So there's a lot of different ways to get in here and to lock your house up when you're on the move. So let's go ahead and get that app downloaded. Little side note too, when I took the handle apart, you actually have some battery inserts here. So it looks like you can insert some batteries into here. And then on this end is how you hook up the power so that it takes to charge from the battery. So you can put some batteries in here and have it last for probably quite a while since you probably won't use it too often. Um, so you can just stick some batteries on the inside and power it up that way. And if you get rechargeable batteries, then you can just plug this up to the, uh, to the door handle itself and recharge those batteries. So that seems pretty cool. First thing we wanna go ahead and do is go to your respective app store. I'm Android, so this is the Play Store, but you guys may have iOS. And you wanna, I think you wanna search the Smart Life app, which I may already have with some of my other uh, devices that I use, but Smart Life is what they want you to download here. And I actually do have it already. Let me go ahead and enable. It wants me to update. So we're gonna get that downloaded first. There we go, quick and easy. We're gonna go ahead and hit open. Hit agree. I don't know if I remember my login, but we'll try it. have the knob on my bedroom door because I'm not allowed to change the locks or anything on my apartment door. So we're using my bedroom door as an example because of the way that it swings. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the app to work. Now, it's not necessarily the app's fault, but it does require a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, which I do have, but I also have a 5G Wi-Fi and it's fiber optic. And so I have a lot of trouble sometimes connecting with apps that only use 2.4 gigahertz. So you may have the same experience, you may not. Um, but it'd be nice to see these companies kind of upgrade to five gigahertz support because Wi-Fi is, you know, evolving. We're now to high speeds in your home, business level speeds in your home. And so it's nice to see these companies kind of keep up with those speeds. But unfortunately, I was not able to use the app, but I can still show the functionality. So it's on my door handle now. You can put the back of your hand to it to unlock the keypad and then put your keypad in if you want to. Or if you have the app, you can use your thumb to unlock it and then shortly after it locks back. There you go. So 
functions as a normal door handle. So right now it's locked. So you can see that the lock itself is not moving. If you unlock it, then now you have the ability to move it for about three seconds. And then after that, it's locked again. So there is a charger port underneath here. So if you do run out of battery life, you can plug it into like a portable uh, um, charger or something to give it power long enough for you to unlock it if you need to. So it's a really nice door handle, really solid feeling. It fits almost every door out there, if not every door. The fingerprint scanner is really, really cool. It is kind of alarming that because I didn't set it up, I can just touch it and it unlocks. It's unlocked by any finger fingerprint by default. So make sure you go and set up the app because if you don't, anybody can touch this and walk into your door. It just unlocks with any press of a, a finger at all. So we wanna make sure you go into the app and set it up. Otherwise, this will just have free access to whatever door you put it on. But really cool product, solidly built, easy to put on, really nice, um, solid metal construction. Love the keypad so you can quickly toggle what your code is tell your friends, tell your family members, but keep everybody else out. This is good for not only just your home, but good for if you have a home theater system and you have a lot of kids that like to run around and play with things, you can lock that door up. You can unlock and lock it from your app, give access to it when you're not home. It's really cool, really nice. So thank you so much for sending these out to me for review. This is a really nice door handle. I'll have a link in the description for it if you guys are interested in this door handle because it actually is really, really nice. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the app to work, but you very well may be able to. So Link down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe if you are not already, and we will see you in the next video. Keep this guy out. Peace. I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down.